What is going on everybody? This is Rico69 and I'm bringing you guys some more Modern Combat 4 gameplay and yeah, I haven't used the Volkov in a while so I figured I should use it and get some video with it or well, some gameplay with it and here it is. I think this gameplay is like a day or two old. I didn't want to let, let it get too old so I made sure I used it. Ta-da! And yeah, um, you guys can see right now that like towards the bottom of the screen, um, every now and then I'll move my buttons around on my Nexus 7, and yeah, I did, but I also added a new button, and you guys can see that's my logo down there, which is now a button, which is pretty freaking fantastic, if I must do say myself, it's, but actually what the button does when I press it, it actually brings up my, um, my screen recorder, and so like, so like it's easy for me to it's easier for me to stop recording and start recording. So you guys so you guys don't have to see me go to my notification bar and start opening up things. So woohoo for that one. Um yeah, today I want to talk about lag compensation. I obviously know that MC4 and probably some I know MC3 had it too. And you guys don't know what lag compensation is. It's like the the delay for like the data to like the you know kill data what data like or like transfer from one person to the next and back to MC4 like modern combat servers the game love servers whatever you want to call it all right I know you guys should know what I'm talking about now like you know when you come around a corner and you're shooting someone but you but if like you die from like one shot that's because of lag compensation like there is like a, I'm assuming they they've been shooting at you way before that and that's why a lot of guns seem to be OP. You know, like quick gun, like oh, they only shot me once. I mean, I've I've went through that a few a few times. I'll like, oh, look at that nice little mind kill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I've experienced uh, some lag compensation a lot. You know, like I'm playing, I'm shooting at someone, like I only see one bullet come out, but I'm a, I'm assuming in their eyes it shot me like way way more. They shot me way more. And for snipers, I know snipers, they get a lot of compensation. You know, when people, like, they think, um, I, I think called a shit scope. Not hit, no, no, nah, not shit scope. Um, you know, hit marker, shit marker. So, like, when you, like, that's when someone hit, the, like, you know, you get a hit marker, but you die for that. It's because they shot you before you shot them, but you still get a hit marker, but because due to lack of compensation, the data hasn't transferred fast enough. So anyway, you know, everyone get lag compensation, of course. But my question is like, how does it work? I know in Call of Duty, I've heard if you pick, like there's a setting, like, so you can like pick a certain um, area, so you can like, I guess, lower the lag compensation time. But on MC4, there's nothing like that. I mean, is it, does like the person that's hosting the match, does he get the less lag compensation? I mean like, yeah. That's, how, that's my main big question about light conversation. How does it work? How can we prevent it more? Or is it just inevitable? It doesn't matter who you, who you are or anything. You're going to get light conversation. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice little double I got with that you know, Volkov. He thought he was going to noob to me. And yeah. I don't know if I get light conversation that much in this gameplay. But I, I get it a lot. I've been... So you guys let me know if you guys also get lag compensation. I mean, I know lag compensation doesn't even, like, it, you guys may think, like, okay, I get lag compensation because look at that pro, hold on. Look at that little, that, that pro move right there. I knew that well, there was no guy on the second floor, so I jumped over and got him. He was lacking in the doorway, I got him. All right, back to the topic. <laughs> um, I know you guys have to have lag compensation, and it doesn't really depends on, your internet that much it might do it might do because your internet might be slow and that just like make it even worse so if you haven't like if you're getting the shitty end of lag compensation plus your internet slow that's just horrible all right but it doesn't really depends on internet connection i know even when i'm on my girlfriend house her internet goes super fast but the lag compensation is still there look right here look i would have got that guy i would have got him if my teammate would have came up and started shooting, I, I don't think they had radar, so he would have walked right through that doorway. All right, I was so lucky, but I didn't get him. All right, so yeah, um, you know, it doesn't really depends on their the connection you have or anything. It just 
I mean, I don't know exactly what it depends on. I just want to find out. So, hope if you guys know more about MC4 lag compensation, let me know. Put it down in the comment section below. Oh, <laughs> look at that. How the guy was sliding across the floor. Oh, so I just literally glitched. Just the second time I experienced that. And yeah, I guess this is pretty much all I have to say about lag compensation. So, uh, yeah. I, so I guess I'll finish this little video out talking about the gameplay you guys are watching. Alright, I told you guys about it. Um, Soy. That guy's Soy. Um, I don't know who that guy is right there, but yeah. This part of the video when I talk about everything. But, well, I, I guess when I'm done talking about everything. Um, yeah, um, if you guys probably run, wondering about how I set everything up, about my, how can I change my bottom on screen, it's because, well, of course, my, my tablet is rooted, but look at this dude, he's camping, he's camping, you're still camping with the, um, noob tube, just running around with it, put it down, dude, put it down, but yeah, about my, um, navigational bar, that's what you call it, um, yeah, I, I'm actually using AOKP ROM, I mentioned that, and the previous video, um, I freaking love AOKP and what they produce. So I always keep up with them and keep their latest ROMs for Nexus 7. And yeah, so like I found that I can put my own icon up. So I put my logo up for the um, icon. And I use it. Oh, look at this silent move. That was a lag. I didn't even notice it lagged right there. But yeah, so that was a um, great big, like nice thing that you can do about with the AOKP. I love AOKP. You, if you guys use a Nexus 7, um, make sure you grab the AOKP ROM. It's amazing. Alright, so yeah. Um, what else? I catch this guy right here. Um, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. I don't want to keep just blabbering on about pointless stuff, so I don't want you guys to show you like like if you like it, subscribe if you're not already, and say, this is Rico69, and I'm, um, signing off. You guys have a nice day.